In today's video, we've spared no effort in assembling the most jaw-dropping, eye-popping, and laugh-inducing Karen moments for your entertainment. First up, get ready for today's piping hot domino specials, starring the one and only Karen. You can call her though. We calling the cops. You on camera. You're on camera. Bye. Bye. Who do you think is in the wrong? Leave a comment down below with your thoughts. Man. Buddy, I'm standing here waiting for the cops as long as you're standing there as well. The cops are coming. He's not doing anything. He's not leaving. Wasn't even tailgating. I don't think anybody wants him. Madam. Madam. You would have tailgated as too. Sure what? Karen turns even dressing your daughter in pink into a battleground. Keep dressing your little girl in pink. Yeah. And okay. Yeah. Well, I don't think that is right because <coughs> pink is for girls. Yeah, and she's a girl. Blue is for boys. Yes, yes. It used to be like that, but now <laughs> we are in 2023, and I thought we'd we'd got more into colors and not defining people with with colors and it's, I, I just think it's, it's wrong well, every day she's in pink well she, she's a two-year-old I, I know i know but you don't want to confuse her in life if she what wants do you mean i'm confusing her <laughs> you're, you, <laughs> you're wearing pink right now your glasses no they're not pink they are mauve mauve and they are blue inside but but i tried to um I just think it's wrong because when she grows up, she might want to be, you know, some other gender. Oh, that's better. No. <coughs> Are you sat down on my wall? Yes, I, I'm sat down on the wall because I've got a bad back. But what I want to say to you is, I just think we moved on. Moved on from pink. pink <coughs> yeah, I think you've moved boys. on from there to there. I, I, it bothers me. I can't help it. It bothers me. It bothers you. It, it, and what bothers me is you've come to my house, yeah, to question my pairing. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm questioning it because I just don't think it's healthy okay. for a child to be put as only as a girl because she's wearing pink. But well, she is a girl. I, well, well, we, we, we say she's a girl. When she gets older, she might be something else. Well, hopefully not. Well, well you don't know, do you? That And that's the problem. But your mind what do you mean that's the problem? Well, you, that's, your it, mind's not, not open. Now, I'll tell you something. When I was a young girl, my mum used to dress me in pink. And what I really wanted to be dressed in was black with a bow tie and a lovely white shirt and have okay. a bit of power. Well, like, you're going to go to the casino, yeah? There's no one stopping you, but... Well it, well, it was. In the 50s, we weren't allowed to do those sorts of things, and... Okay, but I... Okay, but yeah, yeah, but that's not my fault, though, is it? No, but like... things have moved on. I'm just telling you, things have moved on. I don't know what sort of upbringing you've had, and perhaps you... I've had a great upbringing. Yeah, I know, but perhaps... 2023 and i think you'll find these things have all moved on i mean you can be everything now you'll be transgender trans pans bisexual and there's lots of them you google it how many genders and different things fluidity fluid genders so i, I just think i just think you're you're just making it it's not funny it's not funny it's actually a very serious topic because at the end of the day yeah. we, we want to we want things to progress don't we I can't, I can't take this conversation serious, I'm sorry. Well, I think you ought to get on Google and have a look and you'll see that things have moved on and, and you can... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've moved on again, you, you stood up, so yeah, I, I get it. Yeah, yeah, very funny, very funny, <laughs> very funny. Anyway, I'm just trying to explain to you how You know what, I, I feel offended if you're wearing uh, green. You feel offended I'm wearing green? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I might identify as a caterpillar. Well, I would identify green as being spiritual and being out in the open, being wild, being free and having thoughts yeah, yeah. of my and own. Yeah, but the thing is, yeah, I might identify myself as a caterpillar, yeah? Yeah, well, that's that's your problem, isn't it? It's oh, okay, you. okay. Slightly inconveniencing a Karen can turn out something like this next clip. Get over a parking spot. You don't pay for I was here for one second. I don't give a you don't pay it was a problem, right? What? It was a problem? For one second, I was parked for one second. You don't pay for it. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. Marketplace Karen Alert. Karen and Facebook Marketplace. Hi. Is it possible if you could voice text? I struggle with my vision with texting. Thank you. We don't think I'm being rude, but it would have been nice for you to start the conversation with hello first. Just got my magnifying glass out and read your comments. Thank you. 
why, yes, that's fine. What area are you looking for? I am not looking for an area. I'm looking for a, a smash box. That's fine. Are you within the Stoke-on-Trent area for collection or delivery, my love? I know. I'm from Preston, but my son works in the area. How many do you get in the box? Hi, all orders are made to request. Requested orders so you can have one big heart with minis or just one big heart with something underneath. It depends on what you would want. Would your son be, be collecting for you? Uh, my son would be collecting. I'd like one big bomb and about eight other bombs. They aren't bombs, they are chocolate molds. Are they not bath bombs? I want you some chocolate bath bombs. I want a bath full of chocolate. You realise they aren't chocolate bath bombs. They are chocolate that you eat. Oh, really sorry. They look like misshaped bath bombs in the photograph, to be honest with you. Yeah. They are shaped as a love heart that have angles in them and it clearly states it is a chocolate box, not a bath bomb. I think you're rather rude if I'm honest with you my love saying that you know they look misshaped. I think you're rude like you said to me I was rude. I think you're definitely rude. To be honest with you I was just thinking the same thing that you are very rude. There's no need to shout and speak slow. I struggle with my vision not with my hearing or my speech. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're telling me it looks like a chocolate bath bomb when it clearly states it's a chocolate mould. I didn't know you bathed in chocolate, my love. Bathing in chocolate is one of my kinks and you're still talking slow, to be honest with you. Like I say, I struggle with my vision. I just look at the photographs and not read the description and they do look like bath bombs. Sorry about that. Shaped bath bombs, to be honest with you. I don't really want to know about chocolate and your kinks, to be honest, my love. I think that's something that you should keep to yourself, as that is very personal. But no, unfortunately, they're not made with chocolate, so can you please stop inquiring when you're clearly not interested? Thank you. OK, that's a bit far-fetched, to be honest with you. No worries, I won't message you again about the um, chocolate bath bombs. Thanks anyway. Bye. In the red corner, a TikTok sensation confronts a man for the crime of looking at her in the gym. <laughs> Do you need something? Okay, I thought so. Keep the pushing. If you're getting through, you can leave. Nobody was looking at you any type of way. I don't own the gym, I, I work here. Yes. Okay. And if you're getting rude, then you can leave. That means what? I can go to the police and have you trespassed right now. Would you like that? Go ahead. Okay, cool. Go ahead, let them know. That's what we do. So right now, I'm going to take the stuff and then I'll come. Cut the cameras. Watch Karen speak before thinking. Tightrope walking with no safety net. Brace yourself for cringe-worthy moments. Let me say. What did she just say? What did she just say? Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Do you want to put your hands on This is what the 17-year-old had to say. Hey everyone, so I just wanted to touch base about my video I posted last night. Um, I didn't expect it to really blow up. Just kind of posted it so my friends could see because I couldn't send it because it was so long. Anyways, so um, I won't be posting a part two. Like I told, um, I, like I said, it, it's all it is. is just like yelling and screaming for nine minutes. Um, my manager came. We might be tres uh, trespass finding her. Um, sorry, I'm like really anxious because of all this. That's why I've deleted it because... Everyone's just going AWOL, and I'm, like, actually getting anxiety from it, so can everyone, like, calm down? <laughs> like, it's not that big of a deal. Like, we all deal with Karens another day, but if if I get permission to post it, I'll post the whole video. Um, but just for now, I just want to uh, not have it out to public just so it doesn't, like, circle back and cause any issues for us in the long term. So, hope everyone can understand that. Thank you. Please respect me. Witness the shocking racism of a Karen at Amy's Pizzeria, verbally attacking employees in a viral video. It's a jaw-dropping moment you won't want to miss. Spanish on your TV? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Because you're not American, dude. 
I will look you the up and get you out of our town. Okay? Yeah, give me my money back. I'm not giving my money to some illegal immigrant. I don't care. But then you gotta have some you're in America, you're supposed to learn English. You got Spanish well then you got Spanish on your TV. That's a you to Americans, dude. My father was a World War II veteran, okay? He his friends and family died. So I, you can sit here right thing. now and make think. money. And you're going to do this shit. Oh, give me my money back right now. I want my money back, okay? Oh, no, you don't understand. Money. You're too young to have oh, any kind of respect. No, you don't, you don't understand. You're an ignoramus is what you are. You're an ignoramus. You probably even know what that means, do you? And she's videotaping me. Yeah, get you're a racist. You're, you're a racist. No, yes, no, you are. You're a victim. You're a racist. You're a victim. I'm not a victim. You're a no, victim. I'm not. No, I'm an American. No, you're, you're a racist. A you're, you're a, a racist. You're a victim. You're a racist. You're the racist. No, you're I'm not racist. racist. I'm not over here trying to get my money no, back I'm because oh, I'm, you you're shopping at a too. pizza shop. I'm just asking no for No one can. You're the racist. No, I can do this with my phone too. I can do the same thing. Show everybody you're that you're racist. You're the race. You're the race. I'm going to film you right now. And I got 4,000 followers. This is our first Karen. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. I've been here. I've been in Hapro over a hundred years. So you're going to share with everybody that you're racist? No. Yeah. You're racist, no. honey. You're racist. Very racist. I won't. I, I, Why don't you keep saying what you were just saying, though? Why don't you just keep videotaping what you were just saying like, to everyone? I would like a refund because you all, you're, I'm at Amy's and I'm being bullied by these Bullied? <laughs> I'm, being bullied. Yeah, I'm being bullied by these How people at Amy's. I have everything and on video. And because trait. I am white, they are videotaping I'm white me. I'm white too. They I'm white are here. videotaping me because I am white. See them? They're calling me a racist because I am white. No, no, no. We're calling you a racist because you're racist. I am not Mrs. Blue Hair. I am not racist. This is I terrible. am not racist. Do you know your colors? I am at Amy's in Pompero, and I am being videotaped because I am white, and they want to call me racist. I am simply asking for a refund because their food, their food is terrible. You said that you want to refund no, because you played Spanish on, on a TV. Card. I want to refund <laughs> on my credit card. I want to refund on my credit card. So therefore, I am racist. I'm at Amy's in Hatboro, Pennsylvania. I want a refund on my credit card. And they are calling me racist because I am white and none of them are white. And well, she started I'm videotaping me. I asked you, why aren't you giving me a refund on my credit card? Why aren't you, why won't you do it? I asked you 15 minutes ago to give me a credit on my credit card. Why aren't you doing it? Why aren't you giving me a credit on my credit card? Why? I don't want your food. I don't want your food. Why won't you give me your credit on my credit card? You're calling me racist because I am white. Why? I'm waiting. I got my card right here. Right here. Right here. What's going on, man? Hi. Hi. I know you. I'm this. Join us for a fast food frenzy as an entitled Karen demands a sandwich amidst a store crisis. Introducing Kevin, the master of turning small issues into epic catastrophes. I'm a U.S. citizen. What do you want me to do? How you doing, sir? I'm doing good. Oh, United States citizen, sir? I, I just answered that before I even rolled the window down. Was that? I answered you before I even rolled the window down. I well, I didn't hear you answer that because the window was up. Well, the window was cracked. I 
can't tell this thing look at the window is up. Are you a United States citizen, sir? I already answered you. I don't think I have to answer more than once. I'd like, like to just be sir, on my way. It's loud. There's a lot of trucks, sir. This thing prevented me from seeing that the window was cracked. Are you a United States citizen, sir? I, I'd like to be on my way. Sir, are you a United States citizen, sir? I, I'd like to be on my way. I answered your question once. I, I don't want to talk to you. I didn't hear you answer the question, sir. I, that's not I my had, fault. What was that? That's not my fault. Well, you need it. You need, I need to I didn't make it noisy. I didn't make it noisy outside for you. Somebody else did. Okay. I, that's not my problem. It's not my fault. Sir, I, I just like are to be you a United way. States citizen, sir? I, I just like to be on my way. Sir, are you a United States citizen? Sir, may I sir, go? Sir, you're stopping traffic right now? I'm not trying to stop traffic. You just, can I go? No, you're going to park right there and so until you answer a question. It's going to be right there, number one, behind that 18 wheeler. You're going to park right there and somebody okay. will meet you there outside, all right? By that ladder right there? Yes, sir. That's just where you want me right to park? There. Yes, sir. Even in the face of calm, Kevin refuses to back down. Are you a U.S. citizen? I already answered the question. I answered it for him over there. It's not my fault if you guys can't hear. I'm not going to sit here and repeat myself over and over and over again. He's telling me that you wouldn't answer the question. I did answer the question. I told him I answered the question. He says he can't hear. Okay, the Supreme Court says we should not speak to law enforcement. I don't want to speak to you guys. I answered your question. I'd like to be on my way. Come on, sir. Come on, come here, okay? If you didn't answer the question to him, sir, you're going to stay here until you answer the question. I did answer the question. I. Sorry, can you answer it to me right now? I, I'm not going to repeat myself. I'm, I'm done uh, well, done you... talking. You know, if I'm under arrest or if I'm being detained, to do what you got to do. I'll comply with any lawful order you give me. Okay. It's not my fault. It's noisy outside. You know, if, if that's a problem for you guys, you should do something why it's about it. I don't see such a problem it. to answer a question again. If you didn't hear you. Why is it such a problem? Would you, do you want to put yourself in a situation where you're going to have to sit here and sit here, but you can just answer a simple question? Why is that so difficult? Why is it so, so much to ask? I'm just doing what the Supreme Court says we should do. Well, they they said citizens should not answer questions from law enforcement. Okay. So are you going to want to, you want to sit here all night? Is that what you want to do? Because we got all night. You're going to continue to detain me even though I already yes, answered the question. I'm going to put uh, spikes in front of your vehicle. You're not going to be able to move uh, until you answer the question. You don't need to do all that. I'm not going anywhere until you tell me I can go. Well, I'm going to do I'm it. I'm a law-abiding citizen. Answer the question. Very simple. Just answer the question. I already answered the question. It's not my fault that this 18 litter is driving by when you're, when you're trying to talk to me. I, I understand, okay? It's just frustrating, you know? That, it's that, frustrating to us because, look, it's a very simple question. And it's not a lot to ask for you to answer that question. And if you don't want to answer it, you're just going to have to sit here until it gets answered. I already answered the question. I only have to answer it one time. Okay, well, you let get somebody's attention when you're ready to, to talk to me. But in the meantime, can you get the spikes? I got it. I said, you don't need spikes. I'm not going anywhere until you tell me I can go. I'm, I, I, I don't break the law. And what is your name? I didn't get your name. Vela? Rodriguez? I did answer the question. You know what? I got a camera right there that says I did. Hold on. Wait for the truck to go by. You said you had answered the question. I cannot hear you. It's very noisy with the 18-wheelers. I have to establish citizenship and hear you tell me. Just because you said you told me and I didn't hear you? I got a camera right there that says I did answer you. Despite the officers being calm, he still continues on going. That's why I asked. Play it back I can't play it back without my computer. Why, why is it so difficult? I, 
I'm not being difficult. I just want my rights respected. Were you born in the United States? I just want my rights respected. At this point, I have the right to remain silent. I'm going to exercise my you're right not, to remain you're not silent. You're being arrested. You're being detained, but you're not arrested yet. Okay, I'd like to have an attorney present during any and all questions. Okay, well, you're going to stay here. You get somebody's attention when you, sometimes, whenever you feel like you want to go down the road. It, of course, still doesn't stop there. Let me know when the trucks are gone so you can hear what I'm about to say. You can hear me? I want to make sure you get it on film. Okay, when that truck comes by, you let me know and where you can hear it. And make sure you get it video. Okay, so that truck's not coming, right? You can hear what I'm saying? Okay. I love baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and Chevrolet. What are your points, sir? Are you a citizen? You didn't get it right. Wait, wait, wait. You didn't get it right. No, you didn't get it right. Wait, wait, wait. You didn't get it right. I love baseball, apple pie, hot dogs, and Chevrolet. So you're saying you're a why is this so hard? Should you be proud to say that? I mean, I, I would. I mean, what, what is it difficult? Why is it so difficult to say that? You know, you don't need all these guys here. I'm not armed. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm just going to go over here and sit and wait for you guys to do what you got to do. Brace yourselves for the absurdity that unfolds when a Karen opens her mouth and spews pure ridiculousness. Hey, that is not wrong okay. with you. That is not okay. No, is lesbianism okay? It is. Yeah. No, it isn't. Why isn't it? Because you touch children. You children. I do oh. not touch children. Yes, because you're all oh. evil. Oh. You're evil. God doesn't want you to talk that way to people. Do you go to church? Oh, I'll record you that all day. Do you go? Oh, sweetheart. You know what I'm here? Hmm? You know who I work for? Do you know who, who? I am? No, nobody knows who you are. I'm not going to tell you. Okay. Okay, great. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself talking to people this way. No, sweetheart. I'm yes, sweetheart. I'm actually very proud. Are you the manager? Yes, I'm the manager. Oh, okay. I'm going to need your name. I'm going to need your name. 
No, it's not you. Now we have the world's calmest man and the unstoppable force of road raged Kevin. Unroll the window, don't get out. Without wasting a second, we dive into a jaw-dropping incident where a Karen unleashes a barrage of rude words on an unsuspecting customer. You don't even have a green card. You probably don't even have a green card. You probably That's here matter. illegally. You, you don't you care. You probably here you illegally. Don't care. You probably don't belong here. You don't here. care. I'm going to go to immigration. Make sure you got, okay. got your papers good. in order. Good. good, Make sure you got your papers good. Good. in order. Good. Make sure you, you got, got your you papers got it, in order. You got it. You got it, ma'am. You got it. I him. You I got it. Him. You got it. Let's go. You got it. Let's go. Meet the man who takes crazy to a whole new level during a street interview. What's your name? My name? Oh, let me tell you my name. Uh, I'm confused because, uh, you know, like we're supposed to believe in the ministry, right? So is the, is, is the church and state supposed to be separate? I'm confused because I never went to school, right? Is a confused person get a resolution? I don't understand. You see, when you go like that, right, you have a cross, two sticks, right? And that's how I felt when I was in Waterloo. Because when I walked in Waterloo and smiled at people, they treated me like a vampire. They used the cross and they went like this by not smiling at me. In Toronto, hey, hi guys, you know me, Steve Spiros, easy going. Those who know me, I'm a nobody. You understand and you can't 
a person with no body. So why am I afraid? I'm not afraid. I'm afraid of the boogeyman. Who's the boogeyman? You figure it out. I'm getting out of here. I'm going back to Waterloo where the vampires hang out. And I'm going to wear my sunglasses that night. You know why? Because women show their have short skirts, and then they feel violated when I look at them. Why? Because I have sunglasses on and I'm weird. Uh, I'm from Humberside. I'm sorry if uh, I made a fool of Humberside, but all those people who called me a sleepwalker, I woke up. Now I'm going back to sleep because I'm going to be committed in an isolation room because I'm going to go back to the ministry and allow them to perceive me as I am a f up. Goodbye. Hey, Toronto the good. Look at, look at this square. It was a sh hole when I worked here. Now it looks like New York Manhattan. Where are the bums? There's no bums here. Toronto doesn't have bums. But Waterloo, they're creating bums. They created me. Why? I don't know. Maybe it's the church. Talk to the Pope. He knows everything. I had it. I'm going to die. How can you die when you're dead? Oh, wait a second. I'm going to be crucified, right? <sighs> I'm not going to raise...